Probably the most controversial question, but why have you become so much more calm in your videos? If you look at the videos from 2017 and before, hmm, you were so hyper and goofy. Now, it seems like you're more drained and dried out. Ow, you make it sound so- What up? It's Dashi, and welcome to my very first ever Q&A. Y'all asked me some questions that um, some of y'all got personal, but I selected a lot. I don't remember how many, like 40, 50 questions. It was, y'all hit me with a lot of questions, a lot of duplicates too. Um, but without further ado, we gonna be running from these answers like this. No, wait, please, I don't wanna answer that, stop. Okay, fine, I'll answer it, that's it. So, um, I guess now y'all get to know me a little bit better. I mean, I have been doing a couple, like, you know, opening up a little bit more. I did like a couple podcasts and things like that with two of my friends. Uh, you know, just trying to step outside the comfort zone a little bit. Just, just a little bit this much. That's, the, that's it. Y'all doing good? Okay. We're going to jump into the first question. That's it. Well, I'm not wasting. We're going to try to just pop, pop, pop through these. All right. Here's the first question. Aiden, and if, listen, let me stop right here. If I say your name wrong, I apologize ahead of time because I'm probably going to say everybody's name wrong. What type of snacks do you get when you go to the movie theater? Dashi? Actually, I don't get snacks at the movie theater. I sneak my own snacks because as y'all know, I'm really trying to, you know, watch my sugar intake. So, you know, like I'll go maybe like Whole Foods or something like that. See, like, low-calorie snacks that they got, low-calorie, low-sugar, and then I'm going to sneak those in, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of tuck them in, and then, you know, the person scanning the ticket, like, oh, is that, what is that? What are you, S what? Sir, oh, I heard this movie was the shit. All right, next question. Um, LCIJCC says, have you ever had a strange fan interaction before? Yes, all of them. Why? Because I'm weird. I'm so, I just, you know, people, like, people will notice me, and then, you know, it's like a certain look, right? When, when you just notice, when you get noticed, you, you there's a look. You just, there's a certain look. Somebody just looks at you, and are like, okay, they know, they know who I am. They know who I am. So, I, you know, I'm just shy, and I'm just really, like, just to myself, and, and you know, so I, I don't want to, like, go up to somebody and be like, hey, do, do you know who I am? Sometimes I do that. If I feel, if I feel in the vibe is right, I'll say that. And then they'll be like, yeah, yeah, you know, and then, you know, but one time, let me tell you about this one story. This happened like 2000, like 13 or something. This was a lot, but this really stuck with me. And I said this story before one time, uh, I ran into somebody and they was following me around. I was at, at like pet supermarket or something like that. They was following me around. And so they was obviously hype. You know, I could tell they were hype. So I finally said something. I was like, yo, like, um, what's good? You know, like, you know who I am and stuff? He's like, yeah, 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 Dash. And like, you know, he was hype. Gave me dab, all of that. Now I was like, yo, so like, um, you want like a picture or something? He's like, no. So you don't, you don't want, can I take one for my phone? I, I felt like I'm never asking people if they want a picture ever again. I'm just, I, after that day, I never did. Because I always assume that people are just too shy to ask for a picture. So I figured I was doing the right thing and be like, hey, do you want to take a picture? Cuz just said, no. Next question. Has there ever been a video that you were scared to upload because you didn't know if it would perform well slash we wouldn't like it? Also, how do you keep yourself from experience burnout? Okay, so two-parter. First part of the question is yes, every video. I feel scared to upload every single video because I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna mess with this or not. Actually, no, not anymore. I did used to, it, it's a real thing, right? I used to feel that way, but now I just feel like the people who are really here to mess with me and watch my stuff, they are gonna mess with whatever I upload. And and, and y'all do, I see y'all, I see y'all. Um, and then, you know, the ones that don't, don't want to watch it or if it doesn't perform us because they either, um, you know, don't want to spoil the story. Uh, they'd rather watch somebody else and all of that is okay. 
Um, but you know, the ones that want to mess with me, they'll stick around and they'll watch me. And, and that's it. Um, burnout. Yes, of course. I'm a human being. Of course I've experienced burnout. And it's probably why I upload l with less frequency. Look at that. It's trying to sound smart. I upload with less frequency now because I don't want to experience burnout. So I'd rather upload less times a week than force myself to upload more and then be like, oh, no, man, I need a break. So I think I found a good balance. Next question. If you and Donkey met in an alleyway, what are you going to do? It's on site. What are your thoughts on live streams? And do you plan on live streaming anytime soon? Okay, here are my thoughts on live streams. I enjoy live streams. I do. Yes, I do plan on live streaming. I always plan on live streaming soon. I always say, oh, I'm going to do one next month. Next month, I'm right. I never do it. Um, it is definitely a little bit more pressure because, I, you know, like my anxiety gets to me a little bit. I might look calm on the stream. And then at, eventually I do get more calm as the stream goes on. But, you know, like there's all these thousands of people looking at you while you're streaming and it's live. And I'm like, you know, it's a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Um, but yes, I usually end up really enjoying it and having a good time with my stream. So, yes, I like live streaming, but it's also a little nerve wracking. But I do plan on doing more. I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm never going to live stream again. Yes, I plan on doing more live streams. Next question. How do you stay consistent on your grind? Let me hear the motivational part of you. Dash all up. Dang, you put a lot of pressure on me. Um, why do I stay consistent on the grind? I'm assuming you're talking about videos. Um, if, if that's what you're talking about, it's because of y'all. Honestly, and I know I could reply to more comments. I yeah, reading already is tough. But you know, I do read a lot of comments and like for the most part, it's so many positive comments of like y'all like, yo, Dash, like, you know, I was down. This really chipped me up. That keeps me motivated. That, and that's no cap on that right there. No cap on that. It's you guys. That's real talk. I just, just know. It's like, because for you, some of y'all, it's like a routine. It's like y'all, y'all look forward to the video. And it's like, if I feel like, I feel like I'd be letting y'all down if I don't keep going. And that keeps me going. But at the same time, I am enjoying it too. So. Next. Did you expect this channel to boom the way it did? Because I remember back in the day, Dash EXP was your main focus. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't expect any of my channels to boom the way. I, I don't like say. Look. So. I did not. I just wanted to, it, it, it seemed fun. I already like playing video games and I felt like, why not? And shout out to the homie Jesse, because again, he's the one that told me like, hey, yo, you should probably start a game channel. And I was always hesitant, but I did it. And I'm so glad I did because look, here we are. And 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 we're and y'all asking me questions and I'm answering them. And, and we're having a good time. And I know my stuff is really niche. Dash, with the big, I've been watching some Shark Tank. I know my stuff is niche. And I know that my sense of humor or my comedic style isn't for everybody, but that's okay. Um, I like it that way. I like to have a niche group of people that really enjoy my stuff. Because yeah, I mean, to most people, they'll watch my stuff and they're like, this dude is annoying as hell. Why do you watch him? And I get that and I'm okay with that. As long as I have my niche people that like me, I'm okay with that. So thank y'all for niching me it's like watching a niche my lips are dry i'm sorry i just i i'm nervous next how are you doing dash you doing all right mentally my boy you know what thank you for asking that um because you know mental health is very important so first of all i hope that you guys are all doing well mentally and if you're not please feel uh free to talk to someone about it or or, or something please okay because it's very important um, as for me, yes, I feel like I am at a good place mentally right now, uh, especially, you know, because I'm not, I don't feel like I'm forcing myself. Um, I just feel like I'm, I, my pace is good and, and, you know, and, and, and I've been doing like the, the, the workouts and stuff. And I feel like that's keeping me at a good place mentally. So again, if you guys aren't there, um, you know, please try to find some way or find someone to talk to about it because it is very important to 
be good here. Next question. Would you ever consider doing podcast type content kind of like T Pendel's? No, I'm gonna tell you why. I am not very well spoken. Um, I feel like you gotta have a certain pizzazz to do things like that. So shout out to T Pendel, shout out to uh, Timothy, wait, Tim Chantarantu. Hope I said that right. Um, you know, because they, they just have it for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what I could talk about for an hour, an hour, 30 minutes. I just don't. I just feel like my vocabulary is not expand enough to talk for that long. So therefore I do not feel like I could do that. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so Corey X Kenshin asks, can you moonwalk in this video? Um, you know what, Corey? I can, and I will, right now. Ah, you ain't expect this, did you? You was like, can you move on? <laughs> what am I doing right now? <laughs> What's good, Corey? You didn't expect, you thought I was going, nah, I'm on my knees, it hurts. All right, yeah. When you had fat on your liver, I'll explain that, people are like, what? <laughs> what were the exercises, diet, and techniques to lose weight? I'm trying to get into shape. Okay. Um. First of all, for y'all that are confused and they're talking about uh, fat on your liver, uh, back in 2020, uh, um, I, I believe it was March, um, I you know went for my uh, annual doctor's visit. They did like the blood work and all that, and they were like, "Hey, we noticed that you." Oh, also before that, before that, I was feeling like a little pain, like a sharp little pain, kind of like in my in my stomach area, and I was like, you know, like what 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 is that? What's going on? Anyway. Sorry about my lips. Um, so I went to the doctor's blood test and everything. They're like, okay, so listen, um, we noticed that you have some fatty tissue on your liver. And I'm like, what? What? I'm dying. They're like, okay, relax. First of all, you're a grown ass man, relax. Um, I'm like, what I gotta do to change that? Simply lose weight. Say less. I took my ass home and I threw out everything in my fridge that was bad. Everything. I know. Dash, you wasted food. I'm so, listen. I could not keep that stuff in my fridge. My fridge, my cabinet. I just I cleared it out. I had a lot of bad things in there. Cleared it all out. Okay. From that day forward, I you know I went to the grocery store. I bought healthy foods and this and that. I was just trying to figure it all out. Um, I started doing cardio um, daily. Um, I, at first, I started with the elliptical machine because I had one. I wore that thing out. I, I used my electrical machine every single day for like 45 minutes. I wore it out, it broke. So then I ended up getting a treadmill. Um, and ever since then, I've just been doing treadmill every single day for like since then. Um, it's my go-to, I love running. Also, this is not the only question I got about weight loss. I've gotten so many questions. I'll just put a couple on the screen because I've gotten so many questions about weight loss because, you know, a lot of people are, are encouraged by it. You know, they want to do it. They want to lose weight. Um, so what I did was I posted um, something on Instagram. It should be up today. Um, yes, I know. Listen, stop. I'm going to show you. But look, okay. Stepping out of my comfort zone. All right, yes, you can see my nips. All right, okay, yes, you can see them. Um, yes, I, I I am smooth. Yes, I wanna be like a wrestler or something like that, or a swimmer. That's why, you know, you could be more aerodynamic when you don't have no hair. So I'm smooth with mine, okay? Don't, don't make fun of me. So um, on my Instagram post, I posted my, uh, in, the, in the thing where you write under the picture, um, I posted my exact routine and what I do. Okay. It's there. Um, now mind you before you, you know, cause some people are going to be like, wait, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's not healthy. It doesn't, it, I'm not saying that it's going to work for everybody. I'm saying what I'm doing and what worked and works for me. Disclaimer. Okay. Because everyone's different. Everyone loses weight differently. Everyone, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's different. So please keep that in mind. Maybe you can take little bits and pieces 
of the things I do and then incorporate it into your own, okay? Consult with your doctor, your family, whatever you wanna do, don't know, but I'm just showing y'all what worked for me and that's it, okay? So there's that, I'm talking about my weight loss stuff. Okay, is that Soul Dashy behind me? So that, please. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, we know, we get it. All right, we, we get it, thank you. What kind of razor you use? Like, Do you mainly play horror games because you enjoy them or because you know people love your reactions to them? With that said, when are you getting that Super, or when are we getting that Super Mario Sunshine gameplay? Okay, let me start with your second half of the question. Um, y'all probably never get in Mario Sunshine. I think I did a couple of parts of it, but a full, no. Um, I'm just keeping it real. Uh, I, if you look it up in my channel, I played it a, a couple times, actually, I believe. Um, do I play more, uh, Mortal Kombat? Horror games because I enjoy them? Yes. They're literally my favorite. I, I felt like I had to burp, so I was trying to hold that in. That's about the face. <laughs> Yo. We're keeping that in. Hey, this is raw. Pause. Wait. Horror games are literally my favorite. They're my favorite games to play. I don't know what it is. Just like I love horror movies. It's my favorite genre of movies. I don't know what it is. I love it. I love being scared. It's stupid. I know. But it's literally my favorite. And I know a lot of people complain. Look, you can't please everybody. Like, all you play is horror games. I try to mix it up as much as I can. But there's so many indie horror games out and, and I just get excited. It's literally my favorite thing. That I'm I'm hyped when I play horror games. So there's that. Um, so I guess it's because mainly because I enjoy them. And yeah, I I want y'all to see my reactions when I get jump scared. I, it's fun. I think, it, I think it's so much fun. So there's that. Next question. What do you do when you feel stressed and how do you stay positive while feeling stressed? I don't handle stress very well. I don't. Um, if I'm stressed out, I tend to like shut down. I'm just like, I shut down. I don't like talking to people about what's making me stress. And that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to talk, but me, I'm just, that's how I am. I don't like to talk about it. If I'm stressed, I just internally deal with it on my own and I feel like it's because I don't want to burden anybody with my issues um, so if I'm stressed I just deal with it on my own I just try to compartmentalize is that which again is not good to do that so don't I'm not sitting here telling you this is what you should do no I'm telling you that this is what I do which is bad so that's what I do when I feel stressed I just kind of deal with it and you know like give me a little bit and and i'll be i'll be just fine and i'm and i keep it pushing and that's it so i'm sorry that that advice was not better but it's just the truth about how i deal with stress next question have you ever had a paranormal experience ghost stories i wish i could say i did but i'd be lying to y'all no i've never had a paranormal experience ever I did, however, once have a, had a UFO experience. You're like, Dashi, what are you talking about? I don't know if I dreamt this, if this is real. It couldn't have been dreamt because I was like staying at my cousin's house. Um, it was like two of my cousins and I was staying, I was spending the night and we was in there, I was in their room and I remember seeing something outside the window. It, it was weird. I don't know. It was like something like a light or something. It looked like a spacecraft or something. I don't know what it was. I was like, yo, like, look at this. We got up to go look at it. When we stepped up to the window, that just didn't zoom. I was like, I, that was the only time I've ever seen anything like that. I don't know if that was a dream. There's no way it could have been a dream because we both saw it. So UFOs. Real? Fake? You tell me. I don't know. Next question. Hi, Dash. I adore you and your videos and have been watching you since the fifth grade. Wow, that's a long time. Um, And I'm already graduating high school. So that is a long... Wow, that's a long time. Next year. Okay, well, listen. You know, that's what's up. You're about to graduate. You know, hopefully 
you know, college, you know, get a nice job. Um, I wanted to know if you ever, if you would ever move to Japan permanently or would you miss uh, being here in the US? I don't know if I could move to Japan permanently. I feel like it would be dope to maybe get a spot in Japan and then go there for like, you know, three months, six months, and then, you know, kind of do back and forth because I love, I love the US. I like, you know, living in the US too. Um, you know, cause we have certain things that they don't have and vice versa. Any kind of advice for a small channel trying to build a following? Obviously you always hear just follow your passion or just have fun, which is great. But is there anything that you would find, um, you know, I, you know, I really tried to flow with mine on that question. Like try to answer it like real smooth, but I messed up a little bit. I was really trying though. Um, uh, starting a channel or how do you keep your subscriber engaged? Um, appreciate you, my boy. Much love that. <clears throat> Yo, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I always say, you know, if you started doing YouTube, I hope that you're doing YouTube because you enjoy doing YouTube because you're having fun doing it. Not because you're like, Oh, I'm going to start up a channel so I could pop off and, and be famous and all of these things. If that's the reason, then I don't know, because what happens is you're going to get discouraged quick. If that's the reason why you started it. So why am I so, Maybe I got to blow my nose. No. So, um, make sure you're doing it because you want to, because you want to have fun because it's a, a good hobby. And then, you know, if you pop off it's because you were consistent, you, you know, you gave it your all and you really were having fun with it. Um, and that's probably why people pop off because of that. And it, that resonates. Gosh, I have never, do you have a certain warm up before you start a video or do you just wing it? Also watch your favorite Mario game. Okay. we got a two parter. Um, no, I don't have a warm up. <laughs> Low key before I start a video, I'm usually very like this, just but the second I say what up, it's dashy with all that energy. That's it. It's like it's like starting a chainsaw or a lawnmower. It's like what up? And and that's it. It it's that I'm I'm there. That's all it takes. That what up is that she, that's all it takes for me. Um, so as far as what my favorite Mario game is gotta be super Mario world for super Nintendo. That's my favorite Mario game of all time. I've beaten it 50,000 times. I love that game. I love it so much. Maybe one day I'll play it on stream. Even though nobody gonna watch because it's just the old super Mario world, but still I love it. <laughs> Next question. Dash. Did you ever have dreams about becoming a rapper or producer at one time in your life? Cause you low key have talent. I appreciate that. Um, it was always for fun for me for fun. Okay. We'll roll with that. It was, I was always having fun. I used to love making beats and then like throwing a verse on it just so that I can go on pop's car and pop the CD in and just listen to myself. I was like my biggest fan when it came to, to the music stuff. I never pictured it like, oh, I'm about to be signed and be on stage and, and doing all this. I feel like that was more like what, like the homie sport or, or maybe shadow wanted like when we was doing like, like a, like a group, but I never really wanted that. I just, I just loved doing it. It was fun. And it's always so cool to like build something from scratch and then be, be able to listen to it. And then I would always like force it on my friends. Like, yo, 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 peep this beat. And they're like, like that Jay-Z <laughs> me like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fire right there. Dash. That's good. All right. That's next question. Did you have any dreams as a kid of what you wanted to do when you grow up? grew up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not. And it's weird because I feel like every kid always like, Oh, I want to be a policeman, fireman, all it is astronaut. I never, I never had any, is that weird? I don't know. I never had anything specific that I wanted to do. So no, I wish I had something cool to tell you, but Mikey, 
No, I didn't have anything as a kid that I wanted to be when I grew up. I guess I never, I never, even to this day, thought that far in advance. Even to this day, I'm always like, okay, I'll see what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But it's never like, I'm. I, let's see what I'm gonna do next week, next month, next year. Which is probably bad, but because you should plan, but I, I don't. Oh, man, I got problems. Okay, next question. Dashi, what's your all-time favorite scary movie? Oh my God, I don't know. I love so many. My favorite genre of scary movies is slashers. You know, Friday the 13th, Halloween, Scream. I love me a slasher, you know. He's slashing. I love slashers. That's my favorite type of genre of movies. But I, it's hard for me to pick one. I'd have to really think about that. So I don't have an answer for that. But thank you for that question. Next question. What do you do during the holiday season? Do you decorate? If so, how? No. I don't decorate. I'm lazy. Can I be honest? I'm a lazy dude. This is what I put my most time into recording. I'm I don't like decorating. It it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate it. Like if I go to somebody's house, I'm like, hey, y'all did that. I love that. But me, no, because then I gotta think about taking it all down again after it goes up. So no, um, I don't wanna sound like I'm not into the holiday season. I am. I just don't I just don't decorate. Or cook. I don't know what that has to do with this, but let's roll with it. Next question. How come you like doing gaming videos more than skits? I mean, like, it is well, but how come you haven't been doing skits as much? I've seen your latest skits, and they're amazing, Dash. Keep it up. Okay, I feel like so much time and effort goes into a skit. That is like just thinking about it is exhausting to me. Y'all seen how long I was doing skits since like 2000, what, 10, nine? For years on a weekly basis. And maybe I got burnt out from it. Um, whenever I get encouraged to do one, um, I'm hyped and I love it. And I do it and then I spend like 10 hours editing it. Then I'm like, but I always try to do like one, two, or three a year. There's just a, they're just a lot of work. Just keeping it real with you. They're just, they're a lot of work. And that's what it is. Could I make shorter skits? Probably. But I don't because I'm stupid. Next question. I'm sorry. Bad, bad tour era. I'm sorry. You've been becoming a lot more personal and open lately. Anything we should know? Um, Zach, are you asking like, is there a reason why I've been coming? Um, not really. I just feel like, you know, I see other YouTubers and they're so open with the, uh, with their audience. Um, and I just, I'm so personal and guarded. And, um, even though this is not like, you know, opening up and being like super personal, I just feel like it's something that I owe y'all because y'all been watching me for so long. So that's why I felt like something like this or the podcast that I did with T. Pendel or Tim were good things to kind of like have a little window into who is dashing. So that's why. So nothing specific. Um, there's no specific reason why. Just getting out of my comfort zone a little bit at a time. Just a little bit. And that's why Zach. God, you got my back, Jack. Actually, your name is Zach, sorry. How are you so likable? I find myself just admiring this fact during your videos. Okay, listen, daddy. Pause, it's your name. You'd be surprised. Um, there are people that find me really annoying. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. And I really wish that you guys wouldn't attack people because I, I'll see somebody voice their opinion, depending though, because some people will say it in a mean way way but if somebody you know just says like you know i don't really mess with dash 
I'm like, you know what? That's fine because there's a lot of it. There's a lot of like different YouTubers and online personalities with different personalities and, and mine is just more niche. So I get it. I totally understand when somebody's like, oh, you know, he's just not my cup of tea. Why would I get offended by that? That's, that's part of life. That's normal. I don't like Western movies, right? Okay. And if you love Western movies, I'm sorry. But, you know, just an example. I don't, I don't like Western movies, but there's people that Western movies are their favorite movies. You see where I'm going with that? It's subjective. So I'm glad that you feel that way. And that means a lot. And I do read a lot of comments of people that feel the same way you do. And that means a lot to me. So it, it just, it's cool that I can be me and I can have people that mess with that because it's so niche and weird and different. And what is this? It's like a bowl, a cereal. Actually, I saw a question about cereal and we might get to that at some point. How and when did you feel the first time you realized that all your hard work finally paid off? Or does it just come in waves that hit you every now and then? That is such a nice question. Um, how does it feel? How did it feel the first time? It, you know, it's surreal, right? It's surreal. Sometimes I just, and, and, and by all means, right? I'm not, I'm not a very religious person. I'm not sitting here that saying that, um, you know, because when I grew up like moms and them, you know, we went to church and all that, but I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, like I pray all the time and stuff like that. And, and I'm not sitting here bashing people that do either. So please stop. I'm just telling you that I'm not a very religious person, but there are some days that I feel so grateful that I literally just look up and I'm like, thank you. That's real talk. Um, just because I just, I feel blessed. Like I just do. Hey, Dashi, what's your favorite video game console? I'm going to have to say it's a toss up between Super Nintendo and PlayStation 1. Super Nintendo, when I was little, um, I didn't have one at first, but my rich cousins did. The ones that we saw the UFO. So I would always be at their crib playing some, you know, yeah, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, I know. I just don't like him in Mario Kart. Outside of Mario Kart, I still don't like him much, but, you know, he I sometimes. Anyway, um, Mega Man X, Street Fighter 2. Oh, my God, Street Fighter 2. I have such so much love for Street Fighter 2. Um, and then PlayStation 1. I have a lot of love for that console. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2. So I would say it's a toss up between those two. Next question, thank you for asking. Hi Dashi, I would like to know how tall are you? And I've always wanted to know, when did you meet Corey X Kenshin? How did y'all become such great friends? Hope you're having an amazing day. Okay, so it's like a two parter, three parter. Um, how tall am I? So I'm like five, six, five, five and a half, five, six. I'm not the tallest dude, but you know, I, I'm not the shortest dude and there's nothing wrong with that either. I'm, a, I'm a decent height. Now about the homie Corey, I think the first time we met, met like in person was at a Ubisoft thing. I don't remember for what game. It might've been like one of the Far Cry games. And you know, like I had seen his videos. Um, and mind you, this is before Corey like popped off. Um, and I just, yo, Corey just in videos always had this energy. And I just immediately, I was like, yo, this cat about to be it right here. I just always knew Corey was gonna just kill it. But anyway, but that's not the reason I just, in person, when I met him, we just vibe. You know when you just vibe with somebody? We just vibed. Um, a lot in common, just chit-chatting. Cool dude. And we, same sense of humor. I mean, 
and, and that's what and we just always kept in touch and then i would see him again and again in different things and then you know we just kind of became good friends and and that's how we met what's, what's good Corey? what's, what's, what's popping approximately how long did it take you to learn the english language i don't know but i will tell you this i was when i was eight years old i didn't know a word of english so i hope that that explains why my english is not the best um you know my vocabulary is very you know what i mean um so but i don't know how long it took me i you know when you're little you pick it up quicker um, you know, you watch a lot of TV, cartoons, shows, and, you know, you're going to school. So you just kind of pick it up. And, um, and yeah, so I didn't really learn English my first words till I was like eight years old, which is crazy to think about. So for eight years, I didn't even speak a word of English. It was all Espanol. Do you edit bits yourself? If so, how did you learn? Okay, I'm about to lay a big one on y'all right now. Pause. I don't edit every video myself. Hold on, Dash, what are you talking about? Whoa, rewind that, what's going on? Okay, this video y'all watching, I edit this one. I'm editing this video. There are certain videos, okay, I think, so shout out to the homie John. I think that um, John came in the picture around 2018 or 19. I wanna, I can't remember the exact year, but the way, but so hold up before y'all say like, hold up. So my whole life's a lot. No, relax. Okay. Um, I still edit videos too, but John is there. Um, he helps me out a lot. So, and, and before 2018, it was all me, all me. Every single video you saw was me from that point on. He came along and you know, of course I, you know, I pay, it's a job. I pay him and you know, and stuff. But, um, this was around the time where I felt that burnout happening. I wanted to quit YouTube. I really did. It was just becoming a lot. And luckily I remembered him because back in 2015, when I first met him, um, it was because he helped me set up, um, a streaming situation. I wanted to stream and he helped me with that. We didn't really keep in touch, but I know he sent me a message like in 2016 or 17 saying like, yo, uh, are you looking for an editor? At the time I wasn't, I was like, nah, I'm good. Like I just, I know my comedic timing. I know just how I want to edit my videos. So I did not want an editor. I didn't want, I didn't want that. Uh, like two years later or something like that, a year later, I was ready to get help. Um, that sounds so dramatic, uh, editing help. So I hit him up. I was like, yo, are you still looking to help me out? And he's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, dope. So we did a couple tests, um, where like, you know, like I was, I was sending him my, my raw footage, pause. He would edit it and I would edit it too. And then, you know, give him some notes and whatever, whatever. It took us a while to get there, but we got there. Um, I feel, I feel like he knows me well, by the way, again, I'm editing this video, not John. So if y'all ever see a mistake in a video, it's probably John. Some get, gets left in there. John, I'm sorry. I'm putting you out like this. Some get left, left in there. That's not supposed to be in there. Like maybe like me, like, you know, or maybe like, I'm like just staring at nothing, thinking, <laughs> looking at my phone and that's in the video. What's good, John? How you doing? All right. I remember one time, I'm gonna say this quick story. <laughs> he he did a Mario Maker for me. He's done a lot of them. Um, he did a Mario Maker for me and he forgot, I'm sorry I'm putting you out, John. He forgot to do Satan's voice, the deep voice, and it just sounded like me. Like, hey, yo, Dashy. He forgot to do the, like the deep, deep voice. And I didn't watch it beforehand and it was a premiere and I, and I saw it and it was premiere and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> shit, John, I hit him up. John, what happened? It happens. He's human. I mess up too. It's all good. So, um, 
So before 2017, yes, I edited every single skit. I still edit all my skits. He don't touch my skits. That's me. Videos like this, I did that. The video where I did uh, my merch promotion, which I'm sorry about that. I know some people got really mad about that. I did that. But anyway, yes, he does help me out. He does edit some videos. Okay, next question. Okay, here's that cereal question I was talking about earlier that I seen. When you make cereal, do you put the milk first or the cereal first? Is this is this a real thing? The cereal got, got to go in first. Because look, this is how I made my bowl of cereal. And if you do milk first, and that's how you've been doing it your whole life. There is no wrong or right way to do anything. If that's how you do things, that's how you do things. That's it. I, for one, what I do is I put the cereal in. I know like the perfect height. And then I start pouring the milk, right? When I join, start rising a little bit like this. <laughs> that's why I know my shit ready. That's what like, okay, that's the perfect amount of milk. But everybody got their own little thing that they do. That's how I do my thing. If that's how y'all do your thing, that's how y'all do your thing. Next question. What's your biggest fear? Okay. Um, I would have to say, now, nah, I really, I'm not a big fan of spiders. So there's that. But I think one of my biggest fears is like the big open sea. I can get on boats, fine. But my fear would be like, you know, falling off a boat or some in the middle of the ocean where it's like black at the bottom and you can't see nothing. Ooh, whew. get the chills. I could watch it in a movie all day, but just the thought of that. Mm -mm. Nah, cuz nah, fam. Next question. What is your go to healthy breakfast option? I have to say egg whites. That's pretty much that's it just egg whites next question what do you like to do besides game and record watch tv i could watch tv all day all day if i'm not recording that day i'm watching tv all day my favorite thing to do is be on my couch chilling i'm gonna still work out that night trust but for that day the rest the, the day before that i'm not doing nothing couch remote all day probably the most controversial question but why have you become so much more calm in your videos if you look at videos from 2017 and before hmm, you were so hyper and goofy now it seems like you're more drained and dried out ouch you make it sound so <laughs> so mean um but i still love your videos and think you're entertaining as hell dash okay no offense to that uh ted um, that's a great question. Okay, so yes, around that era, I was definitely a lot more yelling my ass off. And I remember a couple of my friends would hit me up like, yo, you ever tried just calming down? Like you're a little too, um, but I don't think that's why I, I, I guess slowed down from that a little bit. I'm gonna tell you, there's a couple reasons. First reason I was getting constant headaches constant headaches all the time because of how much i would scream and be so hyper in my videos i don't know if y'all recall this but it's happened in a few videos from back then where i would like laugh so much or like scream or something and then i would say i, I i'm dizzy and almost fainted that wasn't a joke i legit almost did faint multiple times in my videos and it's scary and I never went to the doctor about it I never did any of that but it was getting kind of scary like I was like it was getting too much um too many headaches I just don't feel like it was healthy so I felt like I had to dial it back a little bit um from the screaming and and on top of that just a little maybe I matured a little bit you know people change right who is a Jay-Z that said, you like my old music, buy my old albums. People change. They evolve. Maybe I devolved. I don't know. But I felt like it's what I needed to do to stay healthy and just for my health. I just needed to dial it down a little bit. And so I did. And that's what happened. Great profile picture. What was your introduction to anime? My fit okay 
My very first anime was Naruto. I don't remember how I came across it, but it was like when it first popped off and it was in Japan, I would literally get the DVD sets where it's like subtitled and they would get, it, it would come from like Japan and it was subtitled in English and I would just binge watch these. I mean like episodes one through a hundred. Um, but I don't remember how I found out about it. I don't know if I just saw it online or what it was, but that's like that. That's why Naruto holds a special place in my heart. So there you go. Why do you shoot all your skit videos in mostly one take without breaks or with little editing? Actually, there's a ton of editing in my skits, but um, that's a good question. I know a lot of people when they do skits, there's a lot of like cuts, cuts, cuts. I have more longer takes. I don't know, to be honest, maybe it's just my style. I never put thought into that. Like I never, when I do a take, I want it to be like a longer take like nobody mess up. Maybe it's a challenge. Maybe I'm challenging myself, but it is tougher because if I laugh, guess what? We got to start that whole takeover. So yeah, that's, I, maybe it's just my style, I guess. Next, next question. Good question. Dashi, can I borrow $5? Okay. Drop your cash app on the, on the chat, I guess. in the, in the down there. Somebody will send you $5. I, maybe I'll... Nah, stop. Because then everybody going to drop their damn cash out. Stop. Next question. Been watching your content for almost 10 years now. That's crazy to me. Your videos have always been there to help me get through my most... Most... Uh, see, I'm trying, y'all. Most of the hardships in my life. From just becoming 18 to now turning 21. 21? Stop. That's not funny. Whether it be your skits, hanging with Dashi or your gameplay videos, you always made me laugh. Mm. And as life continues its struggles, it's, it's, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time reading. Let me, okay. And as life continues its struggles, it's still just as nice and helpful to see your videos to this day. So my question is, do you realize how good you look? Okay, he was setting me up. <laughs> okay, that he or she, they were setting me up. Uh, yo, I appreciate that. And, and seeing comments like that, not about the, how good you look, but just seeing comments like that, um, is again, what keeps me motivated and keeps me going because it's just so nice to hear that, you know, like, Oh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling down today. Let me put on a dashy video. It just puts me in a good mood that really touches your boy. Pause. No, stop. I'm always interested in how people end up where they are. What's your story, Dashi? What led you to where you are now? Then that's, this is deep. Hold on, I got an itch right here. Okay, I got it. Did you come to a point, um, did you come to a point in life where all of this, everything you ever made and done could have almost never happened? Damn, oh my God, stop, I'm getting too deep. Were you ever worried about putting yourself out there? What do you think would have happened if you didn't? Blew my damn mind. I'm about to finish the video with this question. No, I'm finishing like another question or something. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay, let me go back a little bit. What led you to this? I've been doing skits, uh, like audio skits. I used to do a lot of audio skits. Um, and I think that was because... What was that got me to do audio skits. I think um, there, there was a lot of comedians that did like, like um, you could buy their CDs and you could listen to like skits and audio, not necessarily like watch them like SNL or anything like that. And then like Adam Sandler and stuff like that. And I wanted to do skits. So I would do like skits in audio form. And, um, and I had all these ideas all the time, just like for skits and things. Um, and then I think 2009, I got my first little flip cam and I'm like, let me record skits and just put them out there. And again, it's not, I never expected something to come out of it. It was like, um, let me do this for my friends so I could show my friends and share it to them. I would go to work and be like, yo, yo, look, I put up a new skit. Check this out. And then, you know, they just kind of caught 
some traction a lot of different things that happened um you know ray william johnson i'm taking some of y'all back like put one of my skits and it was like a lot of things that happened um that kind of led to the the best cry ever auto tune um i you know did that for the first time um and that you know brought a lot of people to the channel where do i think i would be if this didn't happen i don't know i don't know because i it's like i told you earlier i never thought about like five years down the line ten years down the line which is what you're supposed to do i just always took things one day at a time and i just i guess i just got lucky i got blessed that i found or you guys found me does that sound bad or that i found you guys or that we found each other um and and look at where we are now so it's it's about us this is that was a deep question i hope i answered that right but man do the freestyles come naturally or do you have to sit and write them and rehearse them if so, how long does it take? Okay, some freestyles, they just stop. Sometimes like when I do like some of the Mario joints at the beginning of the gameplay, like I'll do like an outline, um, not necessarily like write the whole thing down, but I'll do like an outline, maybe like the first couple of like parts of it and then like the rest just kind of flows. So no, freestyles are hit or miss. Sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones. But no, I feel like it's just because since I've been like rhyming for so long that they just kind of come pause, naturally to me. And that's where the freestyle. And then when I hear a beat, I just, I just got to go on. I, I have to jump in. So that's with the freestyle. I haven't been reading y'all's names, but it's on the screen. I was supposed to read everybody's name. Wow. See, this is why I don't do stuff like this because I'm just... Ah, my boy. So we're going to end it right here. My first Q&A. This went a little bit longer, but there were so many... It was tough. There were so many questions um, that you guys threw at me and I just wasn't expecting. I hope, you know, y'all maybe got to know me a little bit better um, and maybe in the future I'll do another one of these. I don't know. But thank you to everybody who asked me questions. I'm sorry I didn't answer everybody's, but there were just so many. It's overwhelming. Um, but yeah, um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me um, for all these years and or the, pe the new people that found me and all that. So appreciate y'all. And um, back to our regularly scheduled program on Friday. That's, that's it. So... Holla at your boy. I I'm glad I did this. This was fun. Yeah.